Hello there, everybody. I'm Argolfumpf, and this is my video walkthrough for Royal Trouble Honeymoon Havoc. The story of this game is that Prince Nathaniel and Princess Lorene have finally gotten married, and they're about to ruin their marriage by taking the worst honeymoon ever. Yeah. I am the King of Puzzles! So I will play this game on Expert Mode. Welcome, welcome! Another rich guest, another warm welcome. Enter and let the fun begin. A royal purse can buy a royal feast. Have any money left? Enjoy the awfully expensive roller coaster ride. Still a few coins remain? Behold the most overpriced magic show in the country. And soon your plane broke. Not welcome anymore. All you get is a cold goodbye. A really cold one. They take your clothes too. Oh my, how inappropriate. The Merry Castle, your greatest adventure. Best prices, say the billboards. But look, it's Lorene and Nathaniel. The royal couple is on their honeymoon. What do you think, honey, Nathaniel says. Another billboard. Why don't we pay them a visit? I'm not sure you should trust everything you read, she replies. But why not? Let's go. Could be fun. Or it could be a disaster. Welcome, welcome, another warm welcome. The couple gets a nice double room apartment and Lorene goes to refresh herself while Nathaniel decides to check out the view. He draws the curtain open and wow, the view is irrelevant because a trap door suddenly opens under his feet and he falls down screaming. Oh no! I heard this place was a tourist trap, but this is ridiculous! Dear, is that you screaming? I wonder what scared him this time. And I thought I married an adult. Okay, Nathaniel, wait a moment. I'm coming. Would you like to play with the tutorial? No, 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 I don't need a tutorial. I know how to play this game. It works like a lot of other adventure games. Um, that is, you move your mouse all around the screen, and if the mouse cursor turns into a hand, you can pick up an item. If your mouse cursor turns into a magnifying glass, you can zoom in on something. Like the small table. We zoom in on the small table, and we pick up a book. We can zoom in on the large bed, where we pick up a book. And we can zoom in on the window to pick up another book. Woohoo! Book collecting! Also, we have uh, the family crest lion thing. It has 29 lion heads for reasons which are long and boring. I just won't go into them right now. Uh, let's, let's put off the lion head thing for a moment as I pick up the curtain rod. And here is a puzzle. We need to find a way to get rid of this curtain. We have a broken curtain rod and we have a curtain rod rope. So the puzzle here is to use the rope on the rod to fix it then you use the curtain rod on the curtain. Pretty simple puzzle, right? We are at the start of the game, so it starts off with some simple puzzles just to get you used to the controls and everything. And here is a lion head. Told you I'd get back to those in a moment. So uh, we have a lion head on every single screen of the game, which is a fun little bonus challenge. When you play through the game, you can try to find all the lion heads. It's pretty neat. I like it. And uh, now for the bookcase. So this puzzle is clear, uh, just just put books on the bookshelf, right? That's got to be the solution to the puzzle. Right? And that gives us uh, a paper knife. So paper knife goes over here on the door. Okay, that gives me uh, secret codes and uh, the peephole. Shall I peep? Nope, nope, no! Nope. Oh, oh, whoa, Nathaniel's disappeared! Oh, I sure hope he didn't fall down a trap door. That would be awful. <laughs> so we put the leaf in place, and it looks like I have the books wrong. Let me rearrange the books according to this secret code. Ah, there we go, there we go. So that gives us a secret corridor. And a lion head, lion head over here. And here's a little explanation. Uh, the guy who owns this place, Lord Drac, he, he created this fun little challenge for us. I offer you a healthy test of wit. You probably notice you can't leave your room, 
And my challenge is simple. Find your way out. Have fun, Lord Drac. P.S. This is clearly not some sort of evil plot and I didn't just kidnap your husband. <laughs> no, that would be mean. So here we have a, a stained glass window which is broken and we're picking up pieces of stained glass so obviously we find the stained glass for the window. Over here more stained glass, we have a butterfly, and a thing that we can pull. So we pull that to create the tongue over here, ew. That's gross, it looks like a frog thing with a giant tongue. Ugh. Anyway that gives us an organ with another piece of stained glass and unfortunately the organ is broken so we can't use it. So here we are going to put the butterfly into place. Woohoo! So that gives us a knight. Go back over here, we put the knight into this little slot. Aha! And now we've got the final piece of stained glass. So we put the stained glass pieces over here for a puzzle. Pretty simple puzzle, uh, just put the pieces into place. And when you hear that little ting sound, that means you've got a piece in the right spot. You can no longer move the piece when it's in the right spot. Uh, the best way to solve this puzzle is to start with the largest pieces first. And there we go, that's our solution. If you can't solve the puzzle yourself, there is a skip button in the lower right hand corner. And normally we have a hint button in the lower right hand corner, which uh, shows off various things you need to look at. Like here it's saying, hey, I need to look at the keyhole. And here it's saying, I need to go back one and look at the piano and then use this on the piano for a puzzle. Okay, so I think that's enough of the tutorial. Now we can get started with the game for real. Uh, this is a nice little puzzle. You just want to repeat the uh, little tune. One, two, three. Okay, so this is a little bit more difficult, but still manageable. One, two, three, and then we skip every other key. What? That is ridiculous. Um, but I think I can do it. So it's one, two, two, left, then two of this, and then left, right, left. Back and forth between those two. Yeah, that was it! Oh, yeah! Puzzle Master. Woohoo! Okay, so that gives us a small key. Brilliant. And the small key goes right over here. And we solved the puzzle. That's how we escape our room. Let's leave Lorene alone for a moment. What kind of trouble did Nathaniel get himself into? Royal trouble. <laughs> Nathaniel falls straight into the pool of a large, luxurious bathhouse. An exotic beauty waits by the pool. Nathaniel climbs out of the water and hangs his wet clothes by the fireplace. How about a bath and a massage, my dear? The young woman asks him. Whoa, whoa, back away, lady. I'm a married man now. I already took a bath, and we can skip the massage, thank you very much. I just want to get back to my room. Um, what's behind this door? My name is Roxana, my dear. No massage, but you've had such a long journey. I order you to open this door, Roxana, and, and to bring me some clothes. I look silly here standing in my crown underwear. Oh, you order me. I like that. Well, I'm sorry, but the door will only open when the feast is ready. It might take a while, but at least we have time for each other. Time for each other? Roxana, the prince is married! And I found another lionhead. Oh, ho, oh boy, lionheads. Let's talk to Roxana some more. So, a massage or a bath? We have all kinds of scented oils. I promise you're gonna love it. Wait a moment, are there any other exits from this room? No bath? It can be a great stress reliever, believe me. Don't you find me attractive? No, if you please, no! I mean, yes, you are attractive, but- Oh, no, no, never mind! Ah, 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 ah. Put my foot in my mouth again. 